Wow, this is great. Hi, Hi here. How are you? Here, nice to meet you. Nice Pleasure. Derek Grout, thanks for coming great. in. Thank you, Derek. Thanks well, for having me. Welcome to our distillery. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm Derek Grout. I'm a distiller at Harvest Spirits in Belize, New York. We've been distilling here since 2008. We primarily make spirits from our own homegrown apples, so we're truly a farm distillery. We make vodka, gin, brandy, applejack, all from our own apples. Can you just tell us briefly how you came to start this business? Well, if you look around this room, you can tell that it was uh, a former cold storage room. This is where we would store hundreds of bins of apples. It was about 10 years ago where we decided that making vodka from apples would be not only better use for our apples, but also would bring people to our apple farm. So it would be attractive, it would be a, a, a wonderful thing for the farm. Growing up here on an apple farm in the Hudson Valley, we were always exposed to uh, the apple industry. However, it wasn't until I was in my midlife that I realized you could make vodka from apples. And that really set me off on the path to what else can you make from apples. From the outside, it just looks like a, a corrugated metal building. But once you get inside and you see the, the, the artwork, how full this room is, it, it really is a wow factor, I guess. People are like, wow. All of the aspects of distilling are right here in front of you. These are the fermenters. This is where the, the actual work gets done. Our smallest employees are yeast. And the yeast yeah. is eating the sugar from the apples and making carbon dioxide and alcohol. Okay. The equipment over here is the distillation equipment. It's manufactured in Germany and it, it's flexible enough to allow us to make brandy, gin, vodka. So it's, uh, it's a wonderful piece of equipment. And then behind us over here, we have our blending tanks. Okay. Above us, we have our barrels where we bottle, uh, we, we age our products, so this is all aged. And what is the different timeline on aging for certain products? That's a good question. The longer you age a distilled spirit, the better it gets. Okay. Ideally, you'd want to age minimum three years. Uh, right now, we're releasing product that's four or five years old. Wow, okay. Uh, my goal is to have product that's eight to 12 years old. Wow. But you can't cheat time. You, you just have to really yeah. make it, put it in the barrel, and let it sit there. This is, uh, this is our small bottling area okay. here. Now, Applejack is our second best seller, and it's aged apple brandy. This is a, an Italian bottler where the, the spirits come up through this hose All right. and then fill up the small bottles here and the excess goes into the reservoir. And it's really easy. All you need to do, be able to do is put it on like that, All right. take it off. It looks like an old uh, chemistry project yeah. that I tried to put together in high school. <laughs> Once we, we start this up, we're going to see the liquid coming right up in here. Here it comes. See it right there? Yep. Coming up here. Now it's coming through these hoses. And it's going to drop. Oh, yeah. And then the excess gets sucked into these hoses into the reservoir. So now that they're up, you just take a couple off. And the valves just automatically turn off until you That's right. put the so bottles they, on. So there, there's, no no, there's no dripping, no overflow. Wow, perfect. Look at that. And then the capping is very yes. easy. We just take a manual cap. OK. Cap them and, uh, and, and then, then done. they're done. And that's it. Um, we're lucky here in New York State because we have, uh, it's, it's such a big state, a large population. Yeah. Yeah. We sell all over New York State, from okay. Buffalo to Long Island. We focus in the Hudson Valley okay. with farm markets, festivals, liquor stores, bars, uh, restaurants. We're focusing on the Hudson Valley in New York City. However, you'll find us from Buffalo to Long Island. We are a farm distillery with a lot of respect for other small businesses that sell our product. So they know our apple growing heritage. It's not, it's not because the world needs more whiskey. It's an extension, but also a way of building the other parts of the business and the other things that you do, right? Yeah. And kind of carrying that on by offering different ways to experience what you do here. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I like exactly. that. Our, our purpose here uh, is, is really dedication to agriculture mm -hmm. and preserving uh, farm land for yes. future generations to grow food. I think the, any measure of a civilization's greatness is their ability to provide for themselves. Yeah, to create, I love that. That's a great way of putting it, yeah. to have a, a degree of self-sufficiency and sustainability, right? Mm -hmm. And eating close to where you're growing, right? And giving back and being a part of a, a community in a region. I think you guys are doing a great job. So one question I wanted to ask too, what is in the future? So what does the future look like for your business, Derek? And do you have any new things coming up that sure. we should be aware of? For me, the future is vinegar. I'm okay. very inspired by 
making vinegar from uh, not just locally produced fruit, but also grains. All the balsamic vinegar you see is also made from grapes, not apples. And so I thought, gee, why don't we focus on high-end vinegar here in the Hudson Valley that takes advantage of all the fruits, not just grapes, mm -hmm. and do it in a way that they're doing it in Italy. So today we've been here with the owner, Derek, of Harvest Spirits Distillery in Valencia, New York, which is just south of Albany, the capital, and at the head of the Hudson Valley. And it's been really exciting to learn a little bit more about what they've done to build this business from an apple orchard to now doing many more things with distillery, with spirits, and now with vinegar. So the future is bright here at this business and for this area, and we're really excited to showcase it. Boy, some of the names of these two are great. I don't know if you noticed, but I see one from uh, Beavis and Butthead Days, Bungolio, <laughs> which okay. is hilarious. So, so the, the illustrations on the barrel heads are unique to our distillery. I used to be an illustrator in okay. uh, my former career, but I realized all these barrel heads, blank canvases. I thought this would be a fantastic thing to, to start to customize the, the barrels. And the one up there, I've got two boys, and those are my children's barrels. And okay. they actually have spirits in them that were made when they were born. Oh, very But neat. these are legacy barrels. And that's almost uh, seven years old. Yeah, well, that, that's going to be an old one. So by the time he's, uh, we're ready to, to, uh, to drink that, yeah. uh, it's going to be pretty old.